And hello guys, welcome back. Sorry about my cursor, but um, we're back where we left off. I didn't do shit, and uh, the recording sessions are going together. I have a full circle now surrounding me, and um, if you guys didn't know that the maximum number of flies you can have surrounding you is actually five for the kamikaze flies. So if you have a greater number, you instantly lose them as you enter in a new floor. Or, oh, wait, not a new floor, a new room. Also a new floor in theory and practice, yeah. Um, definitely not going to take the umbilical cord. I don't know why Matchstick isn't giving me um, as many bombs as I'd want to. I'm not running on much health, and I don't think I'm going to actually beat the game or like... I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to head up to the cathedral or if I'm going to actually... Oh, cool. Spawn right next to it. Um, the relic. Actually, I think that this is game-changing right here. This is definitely game-changing. The relic's probably my favorite non, um, non Wrath of the Lamb item. It's definitely up there. I'm going to slaughter these um, Eyeless Ooze guys really quickly. Uh, I wish I knew the more technical names for a lot more... Things. I got a dime. That's my first dime I've gotten with the DLC. Um, but I wish I knew more of the technical names. Not really technical, but like the actual legitimate names for a lot of the enemies. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be... Oh my gosh, there we go. Um, the shop is totally viable. I don't know. I'm not going in there. This is the last floor. I can have a guaranteed chance of not having greed in the shop. Um, that's basically useless, but I don't know if I'll get an item. So I'm actually not going to buy it. I'm going to get this bomb, blow up this tinted rock right here. See what it gives me. Uh, sweet, a spirit heart. That's basically health, um, which is awesome. I guess I'm going to get past the Caves 1 and Caves 2 in this episode, so this these recordings are back-to-back. -back. I'm actually thinking about recording all the all the episodes for the run, and then just doing the run considered as one episode. Or I can piece all the videos together, but then I'd have editing, and I'm poor at editing videos. Um, so I still am not doing too much damage, but... I have 300% my damage because these kamikaze flies do double my damage, uh, which is nice in the... Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to get a Relic Spirit Heart on this room, or at least I should. Um, I don't know how challenge rooms work. I'm not running with Red Heart, so I believe it should immediately be available, just as I thought. Maybe the matchstick's working this time around. That doesn't seem worth it. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I need to find a... I wouldn't mind finding a better spacebar item. Um, I could possibly earn a deal with the devil on this room. I don't believe I've taken damage on this floor. Even though the things haven't reset yet, if you don't know how the deal with the devil room works, it's a, a wide variety of complex... like, complex game-related stuff. Uh, probably the... Probably one of the bosses that I don't want to fight because I get, I don't get a cube of meat and I, um, do not, ow, oh, and I do not like the pony because, uh, Guppy's Paw is obviously going to synergize with nine lives a lot better than a pony would. So hopefully I can just not get killed by him. He's probably my least favorite vanilla boss. Definitely up there. Like, uh, he's my least favorite, uh, horseman. I haven't unlocked Conquest. I, like, War and Death I still don't even think are nearly as annoying as, um, the Headless Horseman is. And I hate how much, how much more common he is. I f one time on a vanilla run, before I had the DLC, I got him as two boss, as the same boss as two in a row. Or twice in a row. Um, I could steal a Spirit Heart, yeah. Spirit Heart deal with the pony. Okay, let's let's see what's in here. Um, two items that I definitely don't want to take. Uh, hmm. Yeah, definitely gonna pass up this. Now I have a greater chance of find. Ah, can't even speak English. Now I have a greater chance of finding the um something room. Gonna check the shop, probably has greed in it. Yeah, definitely was not surprised. Whoa, 
antivirus, leave me alone, oh crap. Okay, I didn't pause the game because I felt confident and now I don't feel confident and oh my gosh, thank you, um, my, uh, little flies slash, uh, okay, cool. Now my kamikaze fly should finish him off. I get a full heart, which is gonna be, in theory, useless. I can, I can probably rerun with red hearts, but mm, not happening, not with nine lives. Nine lives is basically impossible to regather health. It, that's in theory what it does. Um, I just don't. I'm. I honestly hate nine lives. Like the first time I saw, it, I was like, "Oh, this cat thing. It looks really cool. It cost me two hearts. So obviously, if it's like any of the other items that cost me two hearts, it's spectacular, right? I was horribly wrong. Um, and that led to a distraught run of me dying constantly in the same room so um just gonna pick up this money definitely want to go on to the shop for the next floor because i definitely know greed won't be in there money equals power would actually be an amazing pickup right now these hoppers are going to pose a little bit of a no never mind these hoppers aren't going to pose a threat because these guys are going to be what we like to call in the industry a cakewalk and the boss trap room is uh, totally available to me. The relic is doing nice work, keeping me at these this level. Um, definitely don't want pageant boy because I already have plenty of money, and uh, getting more passives increases the chance of you getting um, non-passive items such as uh, well, not by non-passive I mean active items. <sighs> As soon as I fight this boss, this episode will probably cl close to an end. I want to find the item room, but I'll probably have to find that in the third part for this run. Um, Guppy is probably... This is my first time being Guppy, and this is my first time playing the game, and I think it's sort of hilarious how you can become Guppy within the first two floors, or how lucky I was to become Guppy in, in a short span of the first two floors. Ah, there we go. And die, die. Um, cool, there's one. This guy's gonna pop up, and there we go. He, uh, I honestly don't believe that the matchstick does jack, but, um, you know, that's just my belief. Um, so I found the item room before I found the boss room, so I might fight the boss in the next part. So, I, by now... I think I'm gonna have a decimal system, a decimal system for numbering separate parts. Um, I can go into the arcade. Not really worth it. I'm playing as Vanilla Isaac, so definitely not really worth it. Um, the boss room should be like a hop and a skip away. Um, I wish that uh, Guppy came with the Mulligan, or no, not the Mulligan. <laughs> That's, it already has, like, a better version of the Mulgan. But, um, like, infestation or, like, more fly-related items. Um, ah, dang it. Second time during this recording session that my antivirus is being a dick. Because I have uh, no antivirus right now. And it's like, you need to get the not be unprotected safe sex yada 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 um i don't really care i do care about safe sex you know avoid pregnancies well not like that like ah now that now i found now i sound terrible um gonna use the death card i think this does 80 damage to all enemies in the room it's either 80 or 100 or something like that no it's uh, I think it's 80 or it's 80 or 60, but it's still to um, these easier bosses. That's a large fraction of their health. I get meat. Totally gonna get meat. Totally gonna enjoy meat. Meat sort of like a damage up, and also makes me an angry kitty. So thanks, guys. As always, end of part two of this run. Um, I'll head down to the next floor in the uh, next episode, guys. Uh, I appreciate all your guys' support. If you like this content, whatever, subscribe. I'm not forcing you to. Just putting it out there. Thanks, guys. As always, peace.